Great. Um, great. So um, I'm the co-founder of Health Recovery Solutions with my partner Dan Priest over there. Um, and what we're doing is solving heart failure readmissions. I was an MBA student at Johns Hopkins last January, and my grandmother was readmitted for heart failure. Um, I looked into it. We all know the fee-for-service model. I was previously a healthcare consultant, so I started calling CFOs and asking, is this a pain point that you're trying to figure out? Everybody said, it is, but we're going to worry about it in October. And it's exciting that it's October now, because people are really starting to try to figure this out. And so Johns Hopkins research, we really nailed out why heart failure readmissions happens. And it comes down to care coordination, lack of compliance for diet, medi medication, health literacy, and lack of follow-up. So in our mobile device that we send home with patients, we, we include all of those um, metrics to ha for, for them to have. So the changes going on right now, why a hospital wants this. The average hospital, 2,000 hospitals are going to get hit with a 1% reduction of your entire Medicare billing. And if anybody's in hospitals, they know there's razor thin margins and a 1% of your profit of your entire Medicare billing, that's pretty large. A lot of the hospitals in this area um, have the highest readmission rates in the country. New Jersey actually does. 62 of 64 hospitals in New Jersey have, are gonna get hit with this because of higher readmissions. Um, so the problem now that we're solving is that hospitals don't have that capacity to give outpatient care. Everything's been focused on inpatient care, but when they leave the hospital, things fall by the wayside. So our solution, it's being able to provide technology um, with patients when they go home to target those, to target those needed um, metrics and having a nurse follow up to make sure that they're doing them. We have predictive algorithms that really tell us when to call to make that intervention, and we have resources in, within there to um, provide uh, videos and quizzes so that patients can keep abreast of their disease. Um, we're going to go right to our traction because we're going down on time. But so far, we, uh, we have three pilot studies opened up, one in Holy Name, one in Hackensack, and one in Montefiore. Uh, where we hope to be going in these next couple of months is we hope to start getting some sales. And our uh, partner conversations have been with Humana, Verizon, and Healthy Nation. Um, that's just kind of what we're, that's, that's what we're all about. And where we want to hopefully go is really make outpatient care just as important as inpatient care. Thank you, guys. Okay. Wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, our actual product is a mobile device that goes home with the patient. Um, it's our software downloaded on tablets. It's locked, and then it also allows patients to use their favorite social media, and we personalize it to what they like. Uh, the nurse practitioner or the discharge planner they are in charge of putting in their medications so that when they go home, it's an easy transition. Does this exist already? Yeah, this exists and it's being used right now. What are the data points? What are the... They're entering in if they took their medication, if they weighed themselves, their activity level, uh, as well as uh, s symptom checkers just to make sure that, uh, that nothing is going awry. Um, so, part of, part of our package is a, is a scale that goes home with the patient. And we're, a lot of what we're selling is enabling the hospital that they have these nurses. Um, we're, one of the features of the, our device is calling. So that they can call through the device and say, Hi, Mrs. Jones, did you get your medication? Um, and that they can also send that outgoing call as well. Our price point is between three and five hundred dollars, and the exciting thing for us right now is, oh, for per patient um, that the hospital is going to pay. Um, what the what? what? The hospital is going to pay us um, because we're yeah to keep the patient out of the hospital. And where we're going right now is we're trying to just get some sales because um, that's where we are. Do they pay up front or do they pay you on a success basis? 
Uh, so, well, we're, we're working with, we've been talking to CFOs, do you want to just pay us our per pa patient model, or do you want to give us a risk model? Risk model, if we can reduce, if you, all these hospitals right now know I'm at 1%. If we're going to say in three years we can take you to 0% and you're not part of that hospital right now that's like one of the people that's turning out patients, that, that's what we're seeing that they're excited for because it's just cost savings for them. And how do they kind of trust you rather than, for example, IBM, I think is doing the same thing with their Watson program and trying to come up with the, the algorithm to prove CHF reimagined. So how can they rely on, on your startup? No offense. Is gonna yeah, that's a great point. But right now, this is an open space for a lot of people. And um, we're working with a lot of insurance companies to de identify uh, data to crank out um, more predictive algorithms to how can we make the best intervention with the least um, calls and follow-up with automation. I think this is really um, interesting and creative and you know, congratulations. And my question is this. Um, is there built in some kind of a mechanism um, to ensure that the patients who are going home with this device, which is really clever, are going to know one, know how to use it, and two, be motivated to keep using it. And I ask this question because, for example, um, Brooklyn, the borough of Brooklyn has the highest uh, number of people over 65, except for Miami Beach, the highest number anywhere in the country, and 40% are living in poverty level. So how does, how does that help the people who, in many cases, end up to be the most likely um, that's, that's a great point. Um, to answer your first point of how do they know how to use it, the patient has five days usually with heart failure in the hospital and in that five days they're getting the tablets, the nurses are bringing it to them, do you like it? And the best part of engagement is we're seeing, uh, which we really didn't even know in our pilots, we're seeing the caregiver, which is a lot of times the daughter, is the one that's saying, oh this is great mom. <laughs> And we're, for our second pilot that we're building out, we're having a mobile app that links all of this to the caregiver. So when they do something, your caregiver's knowing. Um, as far as are we giving our mobile intervention to the right person, it's a lot, we stratify our risk based on um, if they're technology savvy, if they fit the, um, if, if they want to use it. Um, if, they're, if they don't want to use it, that's something that um, we know not to send them home with. Thank you.